Cyber Ninja Online guys, and today we have a very special video. This is my 200th video, and for my 200th video, I'm going to do my top 10 videos. And uh, real quick, the gameplay that's in the background is just a Street Fighter 2 Turbo gameplay. Nothing extraordinary. I turned down the difficulty because I was I hadn't played in forever, so I was being a, a pansy, and I don't want to get my ass kicked. I wanted to have like a decent like well, not I guess not. A Dec well, yeah, decent, obviously, but I just wanted to have, like, something to throw in the background of this so it wasn't, like, a black screen entirely the whole time. But anyways, though, we're going to jump into this here. So, coming in at number 10, I have my Black Ops 2 quad feed with my SVU. Now, the reason this was even recorded in the first place is because at the time I wanted to record videos, but I didn't have my I didn't have a working computer. So, I got the idea to record um videos of whatever I had in my like online vaults and stuff, and it's just something I threw on there. Now, the reason this at number 10 is because this is my first quad on Black Ops 2 with any gun. The reason for that being was because when I first got Black Ops 2, I started to play into it a little bit there. And then I really wanted to, like, once I got the hang of it, I wanted to get Diamond Snipers. So I jumped right into doing that. And, um, so yeah. So that was the first quad I got on Black Ops 2. But it also led to me getting Diamond Snipers for the fact that, um, during that clip, you don't see it there. But, um, I, I got, uh, I was on a five kill streak because I killed a guy right before I got the quad feed. That was my last block, uh, Bloodthirsty I needed for the, um, for the SVU, and that was the last challenge I needed for the SVU, so that made the SVU gold, and that was the last gun I needed gold, so that got my my diamond snipers. Now I'm not trying to get recognized by the like any Call of Duty community for that. Um, the only, I I know it was pretty, it wasn't like the best uh, quad feed or anything. The reason I uploaded it uploaded it was because it had more of a sentimental value than anything. It was as I told you, it led to my diamond snipers. It was kind of a cool way to get diamond snipers and like to lead off into um. Um, like me not really using the SVU anymore after that because I never really did. But yeah. So anyways though, coming at number 9 we got Rogue Survivor Rats Part 1. Usually I would not advise going in the police station, especially right now, but I'm going to just take a quick look in here. Now real quick, any videos that I say that I have like Part 1 or Part 2, I'm not discouraging the likes of any certain parts unless I say otherwise. Like for example with Rats Part 1, the only reason I really chose Part well, okay, I shouldn't actually no, I guess I shouldn't say that because actually they do have kind of a certain point. But well, regardless though, even though if it's like I say Rats Part 1, I'm not just dis like discounting or discouraging watching Rats Part 2. I think it was just as good too. But there's more of a like I guess more of a reason behind why I chose these certain parts. But anyway, so so the reason this is at number nine is because it was my first very first video on this channel. So, um, I, I kind of had to throw it in the top 10 somewhere, but also it just shows my progress throughout the the time that I did, well, throughout the time I've been doing YouTube so far. You can um, just tell by the way I commentate now, arguably the way I played Ro I play Rogue Survivor, because I watched, that, I watched that, that video back, and I wasn't, I wasn't playing too smart when I was, uh, when I was doing that, but also, um, like just my recording software and stuff too it got a lot better and like I guess the equipment I'm using now and whatnot so it just shows progress along the way so I thought that was pretty cool anyways though coming at number eight we got the Legend of Zelda a link to the past playthrough slash walkthrough part 10 class goes from eight four or eight fifty to ten and then after that I have data management which is math it's like working with statistics and all that that class goes from 10:05 to 11:25. Now, the reason I chose this at for being the top 10 and coming at number eight is because um, it really made me make the best of a bad situation. For those that don't know, my Legend of Zelda let's uh, play through, I guess I should say, my let's play whatever. Um, it was okay, but halfway, well, not halfway through, the last four videos, the audio didn't record on them. I don't know what happened with them, but it just didn't record the audio. So, I had no, like, in-game commentation over what was happening. 
for the last four parts, and I really wanted to upload those last four parts. I didn't want to not upload the rest of those um the rest of those parts. So really, what it came down to was I either upload those parts or I take down the whole let's play. And instead of taking down the whole let's play, I just decided to upload those parts. I improvised, did commentary over them. Now. It might not be the most entertaining commentary, the best commentary, but I improvised and that's, I think I made the best of a bad situation. And also, it helped to improve my commentary skills over those four parts because like, part 10 is like 40 minutes, I think. Two of those uh, other parts are like an hour long and one of them I think is like 20 minutes maybe. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were pretty long. There were some pretty long videos there that I had to commentate over, obviously. And... It's different if you're doing in-game commentation, and like obviously people that are watching and that do YouTube or that at least watch YouTube. Well, anyone watching this really will understand because when you're doing in-game commentation, it's it's a lot harder because you're trying to focus on uh, multiple things at once, and like you can't really focus on what you're what you're trying to say or what you want to say as much as you can when you're doing just regular commentary because you're also playing the game and you're trying to focus on that too. So like the level how do I want to say this? Um the standards, I guess you would say, are a lot higher for commentaries over in game commentaries just simply for the fact that for commentaries you're not doing anything else but just simply focusing on what you want to say and how you want to say it and stuff. So it should be a lot better than in game commentaries. But I, th I think it was, personally, obviously. But also, it just helped to improve my commentary skills, which was great. Um, coming in at number 7, I got a COD 4 mini Taj by um, the player was Spratty. So, to start, this was my first ever edit of like any montage or anything and uh, the reason I did that is because I got in kind of inspired to do it I thought it was kind of cool and um, really it was kind of a bad idea though because I really don't have any well I, I didn't and I still don't really kind of have any good editing software so it was really a, just a bad idea but I think I made it alright the edit itself wasn't too bad like the very first part it was synced up where they uh, synced up for the music after that though any other syncs during that edit was kind of just accidental but I think it was an alright edit considering the fact that I didn't really know my style I didn't know how to quote unquote do a proper edit and whatnot so also though the reason it's in my top 10 and at number 7 is just because it shows progress I do have two other montages too if you watch that one and then the multi cod one and then the one I, I made for Phase Davy you could see like how even though I still didn't really have anything good to use or to edit and uh, like montages with, it still you could still see the progress of my skills and how they tuned and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, though, coming in at number six, we got Rogue Survivor: Food Crisis Part One. Move that up. There we go. Huh? Come out here real quick, and there's zombies waiting for us. Now, the reason this, well, first off, I gotta say is, I don't know why it blew up as big as it did, and I'm not saying that as in, like, because the video's not the best, like, I think the video is good, but the reason I say I don't know why it blew up is because, like, it jumped up, like, 100 views in, I think it was, like, under a week or something, or something crazy like that, and, like, I don't even... I don't even know, like, I just remember one day I checked it and I'm like, holy shit, this had 100 views, and then bam, like, next time it was just, like, growing exponentially, it was, like, just going up and up and up, and that's still the case, it's like, I think it's almost out of 350 views right now, if I'm not mistaken, which is insane, but, um, so, arguably, you can say that's my most successful video on YouTube, considering the fact that, um, it has the most views, also, though, it wasn't a bad playthrough, like, I think that was a pretty good playthrough, considering... If I um, if I remember correctly, because I can't remember exactly what happened in part two, but I'm pretty sure I start to tank out a lot of zombies, throw up um, my grenades and stuff and whatnot. I would def definitely check out any of these videos, as like as you guys will be seeing on screen. Annotations for links of these videos will be at the beginning when I announce the title, all the way through till the end of the clip, and I'll also throw the 
the links down in the description below. But yeah, definitely check out all these videos for sure. And if it's uh, videos with parts like Rats Part 1 or The Food Crisis Part 1, check out like the whole series because the whole recording itself was pretty good. Anyway, so coming in at number 5, we got the Phase Davy Unofficial Best Of Montage. Now, the reason this set number 5 is just simply put, I think it is a good edit. Um, it, I don't know, I could arguably say it was my best edit, because I really think it was. I put a lot more time th in it than I did with the other edits I've done. Um, I didn't hit all the, uh, the sync that I wanted to do, but I, I think the, uh, the gameplay and the music a lot more, or the clips and the music a lot. I got some good editing in that and all that, so like I don't think it was too bad. But also keep in mind, considering I don't have any real good software programs to edit with, so it's kind of really shitty for or trying to edit with and whatnot. But again, I I think I did a good job considering. Uh, anyway, so coming in at number four, we got the Super Mario World Let's Play uh, Part Nine. All right. Fuck me. Oh ho ho ho! One life left, and I do it my last time. Holy fuck! Now, um, the reason this is at part four, or sorry, not part four. The reason that this is at uh, number four spot is because this is a really sick clutch that I did on my part. Um, during the uh, Super Mario World Let's Play, I never wanted to game over. So whenever I got down to one life, I would go out and grind for lives at like a certain spot, wherever I could think of grind note spots, until the point where I got the uh, the secret area, which made grinding out for extra lives really easy. But um, in this one, what happened was I was going through and I was doing the levels, and I got to the fortress, and um, it was actually the first fortress I came across. It was the one on top of um, it was one by castle number. Castle would that be one, two, castle number three, I believe. I don't know, I'd have to double check, but I believe it was the one by castle number three. It was on top of the mountain, uh, very top of the mountain, across the bridge, before getting to that castle. But anyways, though, it was a really sick clutch, considering I was playing through it, and I, was, I wasn't having the best of luck doing it, and then I kind of, I was screwing up a lot on the, um, on the boss fight there, and then I accidentally went into it without realizing that I only had one life left. So if I died, I would have gamed over, and I most likely would have redid that recording because I didn't want to game over. But um, I, I may have. I don't. I don't know. Like I may have just left it. I really didn't want to, regardless though. But um, what ended up happening was I I went in, I did it, and I pulled off a sick clutch. I'm not gonna ruin. Actually, well, I, I shouldn't even say that because I, I showed the clutch there. But what ended up happening was I was killing the boss, and the way to kill the boss, you have to jump up be beneath them to hit the platform and knock them off. Well, um, while you do that, there's a platform below you and it starts to fade away. And basically, the best way to do it is to knock a couple off and then jump on one of those platforms and then wait till it goes like underneath them and then just jump and knock them off. Except I was kind of screwing that up and I, got, I knocked three off and I was, um, I was still on the bridge that was fading away. And um, I jumped, I hit the, the last guy and it got onto the bridge just like at the very last possible time and like maybe like really close to the edge too if you've seen the jump so um it was it was pretty close and that that's by far my favorite Mario moment from that uh, let's play anyways though coming in at number three I got my multi card montage by uh the player was Spratty or Face Brat I got the cabinet, dress 
is half the treasure They say nothing lasts forever But this stuff we have together I say this life is so damn crazy Crazy, crazy that I'm lovers My brother, look, I'm not complaining Boy, I'm rocking with my brother I wake up in the morning Wash my face and take a now, this, although it wouldn't be, I don't know, I don't think it's my, I don't think it's my best edit, but it's definitely my favorite edit. I like this one a lot, and it's got the most views and whatnot. Um, the song that I have, I used for it was extreme, it was an extremely good song, I love that song. Um, those clips that he has in it are just insanely sick. He's my favorite, Spratty's my favorite, like, Call of Duty person to watch. I don't really fanboy or anything that much, but... I will, I've been watching him for a long time, and like, he's a huge inspiration of mine and whatnot. So, but um, that montage alone, like, I don't know. I just I thought it was really cool. The part that I I clipped out was my favorite edit, like editing point, I guess you would say, at that part. And that that, that clip I used in my COD4 mini as well. But I redid the edit for like, I re-edited it like differently, I guess you would say, for the the multi cod montage and the way I just edited in that one I really liked it so yeah coming in at number two we got the RSD on Apocalypse the tale of Eugene Hewlett chapter four huh <laughs> oh fuck me there's actually one thing I want to do have the chance whoops Oh way. How far can I throw it? I want to throw it about there. I don't want to watch it go boom. It's going to rip apart half of those things there. Okay, well, the reason this is that number two, um, it was a really, it's a, like, probably one of my favorites. Like these top, these uh, the top three. Well, the multi cod one is like one of my favorites for sure. It's my best edit, and I just love that that. Um, Eugene chapter four. It's again one of my favorites, and um, the reason it's at number two was because it's my favorite uh, Rogue Survivor moment in general, not just with the uh, DN Apocalypse one, but in all the Rogue Survivor, um, in all the Rogue Survivor. Uh, how do I want to face videos in general? It's just my favorite uh, RS moment. It was my first playthrough with that new texture, and it was also my best recorded playthrough at the time too. So it was pretty awesome. I just um, I laugh every time I go back and watch that. Like I just accomplished um getting through the hospital and slaying um Jason Myers, I believe his name is, and I get to the top there and like, bam! I get greeted by like I don't know ten zombies, I think it was or something something crazy like that, and I'm like really. Because I didn't have too, too much to work with at that point. I think I was pretty low on ammo. I had the chainsaw, which is unbreakable, so I was okay, but, yeah. Anyways, though, that was a really good video, but not my top video, I guess you would say. Coming in at number one, I got my channel trailer, which was my 100th video. Now, um, I know it's not really the best channel trailer you've probably ever seen. I think it could be a lot better. Um, it may not be my best video made to you guys, like it seems, but it's just my it it, it has to be top, like number one for me because like it's my it's it was my hundredth video, which is insane because like now I'm at two hundred videos, so that's double the amount. Um. It really shows the dedication I put in this. I've been putting, you know, I've I've made 200 videos now. Like that's that's insane. I've had my this YouTube channel for two years now, so it's it's pretty crazy. Um, that was showing like that was me showing like I'm opening up my channel, and I know I, I haven't even touched upon like half of that list yet. That's there, but I have touched upon a little bit of that list, and I will too. Maybe not, unless it's um. Maybe not yet, unless it's requested, but it definitely will um, touch upon that full list. I sorry, sorry if I sound weird too. By the way, I I feel like I have a lot of like phlegm in my throat or something. It's really annoying. But um, also that uh, that video too just shows me that I'm like trying to grow and trying to expand my channel and stuff. And um, 
I'm really like looking forward to seeing how well my channel will do in the future. Hopefully, it picks, starts to pick up and stuff. This is by no means going to be like my future or anything. This is more like a hobby, but you know, I have fun doing it, why not? So, yeah. Anyway, so that was my top 10 videos, and I actually almost talked for the whole length of that gameplay, which is pretty insane. I didn't think I'd be commentating that long. So, I'm sorry for a longish video for my top uh, 10 videos for my 2 inch video, but I felt like I described these videos not to like, not all the description I wanted to put in, but the description I needed for reasoning anyways. Anyways though guys, I'll put annotations right at the end of the video of all these um all these videos. I'll give you a couple seconds if you want to click there. Links are also in the description below. Anyways though guys, if you enjoyed please leave a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. If you haven't yet subscribe, hit that subscription button, then I know how many of you guys want to see stuff. You guys can throw suggestions at me for games that you want to see me play. I'm all down for that. If you guys want to play games with me, I'm down for that too. Like you know, I, I'm I, that'd be pretty cool. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.